Hello everyone, thank you for watching Big Nine Wonders. We we'll bring you the amazing side of Africa. We are here again with a new topic. Today we are talking about Rwanda as a destination. Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills, and so many things talked about uh, have been told about Rwanda. And when you see many uh, international football clubs like Arsenal, you find here visit Rwanda. So Rwanda is an amazing destination, and we say that we have to share with you these destinations, and we hope that you will find them interesting, and you can have you can book a safari to visit Rwanda. Yes, Rwanda as a country is a very small country with only three national parks. It has a fourth national park, but it, it it's not yet open. They are still developing it, equipping it with the the, the animals. So for this episode we are going to describe to you the three national parks in Rwanda that you shouldn't miss out and one of the destination one of the national parks in Rwanda the that you shouldn't miss out is the famous volcanoes national park this national park is it's a very large national park that is divided into two and the northern part of it is in Uganda it's called Mugahinga national park then the largest portion of it is in Rwanda and it's called the Volcanoes National Park. The park is famously known for inhabiting the rare mountain gorillas. And recently, one of our videos, we talked about these rare mountain gorillas being only in Rwanda, in Uganda, and then in Congo. So if, if you've not visited Rwanda, if you don't want to visit Uganda and you feel like you want to see the rare mountain gorillas, the best destination apart from Uganda is volcanoes in Rwanda. You will be able to see these incredible creatures in large numbers. Apart from the rare mountain gorillas, other attractions that you can find in Volcanoes National Park are the Mount Bisoke, there is Kalsimbi, there is Musanze Caves. The Musanze Caves are they are caves that developed up because of volcanic eruptions and they are really incredible creatures because they are seated on two kilometers with about 31 entrances and they say that there is a big, a very big snake in one of these caves. So you should try and visit Volcanoes National Park, go to Musanze Cave and you might get a chance to see this big, this <laughs> rare <laughs> snakes that they talk about. Okay. Apart from the Musanze Cave, you can also visit the tea plantations, you can visit the tin lakes of Bolera and Ibisoke so that you can do a boat trip on those lakes. You can visit which are else. There are many other attractions that I might not describe to you. So the activities in this, in this national the, the park... The Dianifor's Grave? Yes, there is also Dianifor's Grave. So the activities you can do is do gorilla trekking. You can visit the Diani Force grave where the famous Diani Force who was the lover of these rare animals of the gorillas. When she died, she was buried somewhere and then they, they engraved her, her, her grave and it became a tourist attraction. Actually, this lady said to have been having a very close and good friend of hers who was also a gorilla. And when she died, they also buried her near the Anifos. So, and later they engraved it as a twice attraction. So in case you're in Rwanda, you are in volcanoes, please visit the Anifos. You can do hiking on Mount Bisoke. You can hike the Kalsimbi. You can do a boat trip. You can do many other things within Volcanoes National Park. Uh, that is yeah. amazing. Apart from Volcan National Park, there are so there are other places like Akagera National Park. Akagera National Park is actually the farthest national park in Rwanda, uh, coming from uh, Chigari International Airport. It is around 130, 30, 35 kilometers, which will take about two hours and 30 minutes to reach this place by road, or you can access it by 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 plane by plane. Uh, by helicopter which can take you around one hour roughly. It's an amazing destination because this is the largest uh, uh, reserve in Rwanda. It, it's the only place in Rwanda where you can uh, see the big five. The big five uh, wildlife animals, we talk of 
the buffalo, we talk of rhinos, we talk of elephants, we talk of uh, leopard, we talk of lion. You can see all of these in uh, Akagera National Park. Akagera National Park is near the border with Tanzania. And it is named after the Akagera River. The Akagera River is, is crossing through the, the national park and coming through to Uganda, which is amazing. Then uh, activities which can be done there, of course, game drive. And this is the only national park where you can have the night game drive. There is day game drive and the night game drive. Remember, night game drive is mainly to it targets the, 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 the nocturnal animals. Nocturnal wildlife, we talk of like uh, hyenas, like leopard, which you cannot see during the day. So you have to see them at night, which is amazing. Then the daytime uh, game drive, it's where you will see other animals like rhinos, elephants, and, uh, and, and even uh, small mammals, herons, uh, uh, and others, topees, and all this. Then there is also the uh, boat cruise. Boat ride, boat trip, it's where you will go around the, uh, the, the shores of the lake and then you will see animals like crocodiles, uh, you will see other animals like uh, all, the, uh, all the animals that, that are found near the water, even elephants near the water, you can find them, uh, uh, among others, and what, uh, without forgetting the hippos, which live in the water during the day. So amazing. If you visit, uh, if you need to see the big five, this is the great destination. For, the, uh, for, for, for them, which is Akagera National Park. Also, don't forget the birding, which is also amazing because there are more than uh, 485 bird species in Akagera National Park. So for birding destination, this is also very ideal. Yes, lastly, we are describing Nyungwe National Park. Nyungwe Forest National Park is, is located in the southern province and it's actually the farthest Far than Akajia National Park because for it it will take you about about five hours to reach there. Though the fastest means is for you to board a helicopter, but in case you you interested in the road drive, then it will take you about five hours from the city center to Nyungwe Forest National Park. The park is famously known for inhabiting the chimpanzees. Yes, so other than the chimpanzees, you can see other primates such as the the red cheeked manga bears, the blue monkeys, the red tailed monkeys, the olive balloons, baboons, and many other primates that I might not tell you about. Other attractions, other than the primates, you can see the Isumo waterfalls, there is canopy walk, there is the tea plantation there, where you can visit and know how the tea plantation process takes place. So the activities that you can carry out on Nyungwe National Park, they include chimpanzee trekking. Yes, you, you book a permit and you'll be able to trek out the chimpanzees. While trekking the chimpanzees, you might be also able to, 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 to track out the other primates that I've talked about, like the blue monkeys, the silver monkeys, the red-tailed monkeys, and others. So the, apart from the trekking, you can also do a canopy walk, which is a, fam, a famous activity experience that is actually only in Rwanda in all the East African countries. In Rwanda, it's only in Nyungwe National Park where you'll be able to do this canopy walk where you're like, you walk on, on a trail that is as long as, as 200 meters, and then it's on, on a distance from the ground up to the sky, it's about 50 meters above the forest. So you're on a trail above the forest, above the trees, and then you're able to view the animals that are within the trees. You get my point? Yes. You'll be on a trail and then you will see the red-haired monkeys, you will see the silver monkeys when you, you're viewing them from a certain angle. It's really an amazing experience that you can only find in Nyungwe National Park in Rwanda. Apart from the three national parks that we have described for you, there are other attractions outside national parks such as the Presidential Museum, which is in Chigari City, you can visit the Genocide Museum, which is also in Kigali City, where they, 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 they what? 
the, the, the remains of the uh, uh -huh. genocide victims. Yes, uh, yeah. that's the Chigadi Genocide Museum. You can also visit Inema Art Gallery. You can visit different brewing companies. You can visit Lake Kivu, where you will have a boat trip on the lake. You can do fishing. You can visit tea plantations. There are really many activities you can do in Chigali City, for it's the cleanest city that you will find in East Africa. Finally, guys, in case you've watched our videos on YouTube, on the Big Nine Wonders, you've seen the attractions that we've been talking about, and you feel like, yes, it's high time we go and visit Uganda. Please get in touch with us. Alps Trendy Safaris, we shall prepare for you a very good itinerary where you will be able to see these activities. You tell us your preference, you tell us which primate you're interested in, and then we shall prepare for you a very good itinerary and you will come. This Uganda, we shall welcome you, we shall book for you at the hotel, we shall help you do all the activities. Get Even in touch all with more us. information on our website. Yes. Go on our website, Alps Trendy Safaris. You will see our phone number. You, you can WhatsApp us and give us a quick call. You can send us an email at info on info at Alps Trendy Safaris, and we shall gladly serve you.